So in the 10th subordi, we're moving on to the 11th subordi, but in the 10th subordi, you're cutting from the shoulder to the hip. Okay? From the shoulder to the hip. Okay? 11th subordi follows the opposite line, hip through the shoulder. Okay? So if you're in confined space, <clears throat> The way you can do this first is just by going into Waki Kamai. Okay? And if you're really tight space, you can just switch your feet. Okay? This stays low, or you can go up high to Jodan and then come down to Waki Kamai. Okay? But uh, I recommend this soft one, okay? where it's coming in right towards your nose and you teach yourself how to get out of the way. Okay? Right hand is relaxed. So since it's going from the uh, hip to the, through the shoulder, I can now switch my feet again and it cuts up. Okay. Then you can go into Waki Kamai on the other side. Left hand is relaxed, right hand is stable. Switch feet, cut up through the hip, through the shoulder, and then settle. to be in a big figure eight like we did with Joe. Step, cut up, let everything settle. Step, cut up, let everything settle. And you start to have a little bit with all these, a little bit of movement in your center and your knees. So the cutting up is supported by grounding, but then cutting up, okay? Having your hips in your center, cut up, but not losing yourself. Then you settle yourself again, okay? If I exaggerate it, oh, that's exaggerated, okay? Which is no good, okay? <clears throat> Don't let the weapon distract you from your body work. Eleventh subordinate. 